Welcome to my best of 2022. Yeah, I got out and shot photographs quite a bit this year. Probably got some of the better images of my lifetime. So I am very eager to share them with you. Okay, I've got everything wrapped up here. Uh, but before we get started, let me tell you about the Palouse country. I attended college at Eastern Washington University in a little town called Cheney. And Cheney is right on the edge of Palouse country. Uh, I did not take a lot of images during that time, but uh, managed to get a few historical shots and I'll share those with you. Uh, number one, I caught fish. Um, I uh, went horseback riding. And I got chased by a bison. Yeah, I was one of those photographers that got up close and personal to a bison. And I was on the edge of a grove of trees. And I came out of the, in the clearing, there was a bison. And uh, he caught me looking at him with my camera. And he charged at me. And I hid behind the little trees. And fortunately for me, he got caught up in the, uh, the trees with his horns. And he couldn't go any further. And he backed off. And he just looked at me and bared his teeth and snarled. So I was able to comfortably take this picture. All right, so I am going to kick this off with a little gift. Oh. Look. South of Boise, there's a little town named Buell along the Snake River Canyon. I have some friends down there that put me up for three nights while I photographed the uh, canyon. Bob and Terry Bollinger. Terry was a great guide. She took me to a bird estuary where I saw hundreds of pelicans. Uh, I'll never think of pelicans the same way. I always thought of pelicans as being a seabird, a coastal bird. But uh, here in the heartland of the U.S., there are hundreds of them. And they are an elegant bird. I also photographed a white crane flying by in front of basalt cliffs. And it's one of my favorite sequences. Enjoy. <laughs>
Venturing further into Idaho, I spent a night out at Craters of the Moon National Monument. Now, Craters of the Moon National Monument, and I don't know why they don't call it a national park, uh, is a black lava flow, and it is one of the darkest places in the country, perfect for photographing the Milky Way. The galactic center of the Milky Way was full in its glory, and I framed it behind some gnarly trees. I think it's my best Milky Way shot so far. And I, I'm embarrassed to say I finally made it to Palouse Falls. I've been here all my life and I've never gone to Palouse Falls. So here is my contribution to the falls. Having been to the Long Beach Peninsula many times, it's the first time I actually focused on the crashing waves during a king tide as they crashed into the rocks below the Cape Disappointment Lighthouse. waves. Well, there's the North Head Lighthouse. As far as lighthouses go, this is one of the more beautiful ones in my opinion. Okay, it's way back. Waikiki, yeah, Waikiki on the Washington coast. And uh, it's an iconic spot where a lot of people uh, trying to capture the waves, as you can see, very popular spot. Right, we're gonna focus on the waves here.
and nestled in the south end of the Long Beach Peninsula is the fishing community of Ilwaco. And at night, it takes on a whole different ambiance, and I captured it, I think, the way I wanted to. I took a working boat cruise up in British Columbia on Vancouver Island from the middle of the island out to the west coast to a little community called Uquat. The uh, boat was a converted or repurposed mine sweeper from the 40s made of wood for obvious reasons. Come along and enjoy the ride. A new home for a while, let me feel alive. Nothing to hold me back, take my time, just enjoy the ride. A new man passing by, life is good, best I've ever felt. Get me up, so in it, so where I can find myself. Okay, we made it to the west coast from the east coast of Vancouver Island and what a day. Not a cloud in the sky. As you might have seen, I spent multiple trips to eastern Washington. And in the trip in July, I took the family out to Okanagan County at a ranch where we did a trail ride. Tomorrow morning, we're headed on a trail ride we're gonna ride about six miles, uh, five horses, five people. We got our cowboy boots, got all of our equipment that we need, I think, for the trail ride tomorrow. Very excited about this. Uh, I haven't ridden a horse in a while. I'm embarrassed to say how long, and so I won't. But, uh, I mean, I've ridden horses, I've galloped, I've had some fun on horses, but uh, it's been a while, to be honest. So I'm a little, what's the word, trepidatious. Anyway, I'm uh, going to check out and get some shut-eye. We'll pick it up in the morning on the trail ride. Good night. Good morning. Well, we're on horseback and about ready to do our trail ride. There's Cherry. Angela. Angela has Bob. Bob. Hi, Bob. Jerry has Bodie. And 
this here is Levi. Yep, same name as my son. all the time. I've had arthritis since I was 12. Oh. You just got to set your mind to what you want to do. Yeah. Yep. You know? When I got over the cancer, I wanted to be able to run my chainsaw. I still can. I Good. got 17 cord of wood. Like, you've got to just set your mind to it. <laughs> well, I have a big black pebble hat I wore all the time. There were people that came from different parts of the hospital by the time the program was over just to meet me because I had an attitude <laughs> and a backbone. I went through cancer like everything else. I wish you a very prosperous and happy new year in 2023. Thank you for coming along on my ride for 2022. I appreciate you being here and thanks for watching. I leave you now with some more pictures from the Palouse country.